Hello everybody, great to uh, have you back again. Thanks for coming back and viewing this video. And uh, let me just say welcome to uh, one of the outer sandbars at Donanook in Norfolk. Uh, home of one of the biggest grey seal colonies on the planet. Mm, full of farty noises and yes, <laughs> all asleep. Yes, and this is only about a fifth of the numbers you'll find there and uh, this week's video is going to be um, a bit of a climb down from yours truly i'm not afraid to admit when i'm wrong and uh, yeah here we go many thanks go to mr todd pryor and also to mr paul barker emmings one of uh, my patreon members who actually uh, got the final bit of this figured out and uh, let me know the other day and lo and behold yes it is possible to get a external editor lewis script uh, that works seemingly on linux pc and mac and will export your fully processed images from Darktable uh, to said chosen editor and uh, so this is not just for Adobe users um, this is for GIMP users this is for Affinity Photo one of my Patreon members Igil this should be of interest to you unless you secretly know about it already and haven't told me uh, but anyway a Lua script yes so uh, what do we need to do to engage this Lewis script? Uh, first of all, I'm going to come over to the light table. And if we come down to the bottom left hand side, we will see Lewis scripts installer. And we need to show the module. Install scripts is the chosen action. And just go execute and Lewis scripts are being installed and uh, just wait for it to do its thing and there we go so if we come now to open this again and here are the scripts that we've got installed and you can see we're on page one of four i can never understand what half of these things do but if we carry on going we can see external editor or ext editor stopped if we click on it it's started all righty and we will notice we've now got another tab in here called external editors and we'll just open that and you can see uh, we've got nothing in there except this live button to update the list um what list you may ask yes well here we go come to preferences or so show global preferences and um, let's just check that I've got everything right in there uh, no I haven't um, auto apply pixel workflow I, I, I'm i sort of can't make my mind up between uh, none and seen referred at the minute but that will be the subject of another video but I'll just put it on none for the moment and uh, we come to this option for lure and here we go show external editors in dark room okie dokie so i don't know whether to check that or not i don't know whether i want to see it in the dark room or not um i suppose it could be handy but all we need to do is point each one of these and you can see we can have up to nine external editors so uh, for those of you who want to try um, sort of Capture One Pro or Affinity or Luminar Neo on a trial basis, you can actually go and point these at the trial versions that you might have on. And of course, the fully um, functioning editors that you might already have on there, such as GIMP, if you're going for a free one, or if you like My Night Igil, um, Affinity uh, Photo or whatever he says, or even DxO's big photo thing. 
So whatever external editor you've got on your machine, you can point this to it. And so what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to find um, Lightroom because I can open in Lightroom. So I'm going to put that in there and we will just go in here and we will put LR for Lightroom. I'm now going to come to external editor number two and I'm going to go for Photoshop Beta and we'll click open and I will come in there and I will just type PS Beta rather like that and I'll come to external editor number three and uh, oh, where's Adobe Photoshop gone? Boom, 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 boom. There's Lightroom, there's Adobe Photoshop Beta and here's Adobe Photoshop 2023. So we'll click open and I will just put up there PS 2023. Cool. And so here we go. So let's just close down the preferences uh, rather like that. And so here's our um, processed image and we want to send this to a external editor so what we've got to do is we've got to come to export now then by default the target storage is file on disk and if you remember in the previous video where i was showing you that really nice way of doing an auto import into lightroom to get the image into the adobe photoshop or adobe workflow if you like we exported to a watch folder so the import was automatic no we can also do it this way instead of saying file on disk this is a collection so what we can do is we can export to collection now there is a cute little thing about this if you remember in last week's video i did say that there was no real way we could emulate out of dark table what we can do in raw therapy which is export to multiple editors and also save the image next to the parent raw file in the main root folder uh, that the raw file sits in well it turns out that selecting collection actually a side effect is to save the image right next to the parent raw file yeah mm, cool Okay, so I'm now going to carry on with my conventional 16-bit ProPhoto RGB TIFF workflow. So file format is going to go from the default JPEG 8-bit down to TIFF, 16-bit, uh, unsigned integer, uncompressed. And what we're going to do is click Export, and it will come back into this default collection view. So let's go and click Export and there it is and so all we've got to do is come over to external editors and go and update that list so let's click update and so we get lightroom in position one and so let's go and edit it in lightroom and there we go so launching lightroom and uh, with a little bit of luck and a fair wind yep there it is don't ask me why i've got that black frame in there as well um so we'll just click import and there is our image as processed in dark table very very nice now i'm going to show you a little thing now if we come back to dark table and we said instead of opening it in lightroom uh, we were going to open it in photoshop beta so we'll click photoshop beta and we'll go edit and it will say launching Photoshop beta and that's as far as it will go uh, because it won't launch at least it won't launch Photoshop beta or Photoshop if one of the other programs or applications in said list over here is already open uh, so what we need to do is go and close Lightroom and uh, go skip this time and uh, here we go it's now opening up uh, photoshop beta and uh, to prove the point again we can go to dark table 
and wait and see. Uh, editing, just normal fo- uh, public release uh, Photoshop 2023, and we'll go edit. Launching PS 2023, and it won't do anything else until we go to Photoshop Beta and quit Photoshop Beta. And uh, there we go, Ordinary Photoshop is opening up and uh, with a bit of luck and a fair win, there we go. So uh, absolutely perfect, 300 pixels per inch and uh, document profile, uh, Profoto RGB, 16 bits per channel, yippity doo da, uh, brilliant. So there you go guys, uh, big thanks to uh, Todd Pryor and to uh, Paul Barker Emmings over on my Patreon uh, members channel uh, for uh, cluing me up on this particular uh, Lua script and it does work quite flawlessly so as I said earlier uh, what I said in the video last week about Lua scripts not working on Mac well I've just proved that this one at least uh, does and it isn't broken and uh, so anybody um, can use this script doesn't matter what operating system you're on uh, so don't forget if you're on linux you want gimp or any of the other things like inkscape or anything like that as an external editor you can program uh, those applications into uh, this lua script as an external editor and you can go straight from dark table to your external editor of choice independent and irrespective of whether you're on mac or windows or linux uh, so there you go so as i said big thanks to todd and uh, paul for cluing me up on this and uh, i hope you found that useful hope you found it interesting if you have uh, don't forget give it a like give it a thumbs up leave a nice comment below share it with your friends and uh, until the next time guys and gals stay safe stay well keep taking the pictures and i'll speak to you very soon to root